This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Jake Whitehead. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What is going on, Cory Gang Fish Fam? Welcome back to your... Welcome back to Fish for Thought. Okay, so hashtag Fish Fam is self-explanatory, but why is it Cory Gang? My name is Chris. For those of you who are new to the channel who don't know yet, one of my and the fish keeping community's favorite fish of all time are the Corridor's catfish. And we liked it so much, we got merch for it, and we even got a song. Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang, Cory Gang. Spend my money on a new tank. Fluble. And that's why we are also the Cory Gang. Now you know. Hope your Monday's going just right. Happy Tuesday, Monday night. If you're in India, Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia. I don't actually know if any of that is correct. <laughs> Happy beginning of the week. The beginning is always the toughest to get through. I feel like Mondays are hard, man, but Tuesdays are just boring. Tuesdays are just so hopeless for me. Like, wow, we're over the first day hump, but this is only the second day. Without further ado, fish tank. I found this guy that likes to collect these forbidden rock noodles. The shell then breaks away, leaving these rock noodles. Ew. Pea puffers are so cute, man. <laughs> oh no. Can I just say that's the perfect timing for whoever's behind the video. It's just the zoom in shot of my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. They're so full of expression, their eyes give off so much emotion. And this is just pure Vietnam War PTSD vibes. Why are we here just to suffer? Cute little, very healthy looking pea puffer in what looks to be like a gorgeous planted tank with a carpet and oko stone. And just enjoying a nice little bloodworm snack. But then this bigger fish, which is actually quite a small fish. I think that's a lemon tetra. I'm not 100% sure. The pea puffer is still dwarfed by it. Let's the bigger fish take it. That reminds me of what cheetahs do. They're super fast, probably the fastest land animal, reaching speeds up to like 70, 80 miles per hour. The only animal to be able to catch prey like gazelle just by outrunning them. And after their hard work, all that evolution of being the fastest thing to ever run on planet Earth, you just get your kill stolen by some hyenas, a couple lions, maybe even a pack of wild dogs. Damn son, nature is unfair. Love the way it looks at you like WTF just happened. I swear they can recognize you too. Pea puffers are awesome at recognizing their caregivers for such a tiny little thing. My five pea puffers for their lives won't eat frozen foods. They test bite just like yours did, spit it out, then look at me like I'm a heath. Hmm, maybe it's still too cold because fish are sensitive to temperature. That might be what's happening, but these guys are known to be some picky eaters. Hey guys, quick pause for today's sponsor. You guys for smashing that like button. And for bonus support, if you're feeling extra charitable today, check out my Patreon. For as little as $2 a month, you can get access to so many things on this channel. The FFT Discord, where thousands of fish keepers come together and chat away. We got merch discount, specialty badges on petscore.com, and more perks. Thank you so much for your consideration. This big and white and bright Greek inspired tank is from Eric Cleveland. It's a whopping 125 gallons. The ornaments are supposed to be color contrasted with the goldfish in them, and it's running two whole canister filters. Now, although this is pretty artificial when it comes to decor, I can't understand where you're going with the color contrast but number one this might be a little bright for your fishy inhabitants i'm not going to be rating this tank because y'all already know my answer to it anyway for an artificial tank like this but it seems like the husbandry is there and there's a lot to like about this tank a mini jungle in our bathroom how did you get the monstera to grow that well if my bathroom's window had this wow i'd be taking even longer on the throne <laughs> i can't really see the tank very clearly but it looks like a rimless could be a fluval fluval edge maybe looks like there's live plants in it and a lot of it damn Damn, that's gorgeous. This betta fish tank sent in by Soul Sauce. Solo betta fish tank with some ram's horn snails and some cherry shrimp. Got a hair grass carpet going on, some wisteria, java fern, and Anubias looking really healthy. Really nice, cozy little tank for your solo betta fish. 4.25 out of 5, keep it up. Duckweed on the brain. That is so cool and see through. This looks like a ghost shrimp that's been eating algae, or I guess maybe duckweed. Their stomach is really close to where their brains are. Like, I can't even imagine if my stomach was like right here. That's crazy, y'all. So it kind of looks like their food is filling up the brain cavity, me when I see my fish tank starting to grow algae. I ain't seen nothing. Perfectly good fish tank, too real. Yeah, I think I'm literally neglecting some algae growth in there and don't even get me started on this one. Just pretend like you don't see it, bro. It, the algae can hurt you if you don't look at it. Whimsicat scales and tails sent in this monstrosity of a fish tank. The long finned Oscar, huge, right in the foreground centerpiece. How do you have it planted? I love that. What is that, like a one piece of wood? The dimensions are great for this tank. Nice dark substrate, bryophytic plants doing work. Those Anubias, 
Java Fern and looks to be Hygrophila. They gotta be a nice size to actually show up that big. Cause this tank's like around 100, 200 gallons. Got that shy parrot cichlid. I hope it's doing okay with this Oscar. Got some giant Daniels up top. I only see one, but hopefully there's a school so it feels more comfortable for them. For me, it's close to a five out of five. I'm gonna give it a 4.8. Keep up the great work. This is an amazing tank. Stop putting bettas in little bowls and alcohol bottles as a trend or draw 25. TikToker, you really gotta be thinking about it, huh? They're like, ah, uh, 25 is a lot of cars, but ain't no way I'm gonna stop this trend. Ain't no way I'm gonna put these fish that I get as pets into somewhere where they actually have some decent space to swim around. Nah, that's not worth it. Come on. Jitters that God sent in this fish tank. First of all, I'm just distracted. What the heck is going on down there? Looks like you got some master plan in the works to like find world's end from Pirates of the Caribbean 3. <laughs> the tank itself, like a 20 gallon long, maybe 10 gallon long. You got some ember tetras in there, maybe a bed of fish, I'm not sure. I don't know what that is, might be artificial, but you do have the live plants, sand substrate, clean backdrop. Looks like good husbandry, looking understocked. 4.15 out of five, keep it up. So you guys wanted to hang out and just happened to be low on battery, huh? This is a very clever meme. I absolutely love it. Hey man, if I had a friend who generated free electricity, I'd probably do the same. No need to bring a portable charger anymore for my phone. This has to be a joke, right? Right? HTF rare and highly sought after green uranium depression glass fishbowl. I don't really know what I just read. I'm not that great at reading, but I don't think it's my fault right now that I don't understand this. <laughs> I don't know if a single soul on earth has sought this. Green uranium. Who knows what the hell that is? Depression. Glass fish bowl. That's the only part that I can understand because it's clearly saying that you're gonna give the fish depression, whichever fish goes in there. And it's gonna give the owner depression too because it costs $125. Oh no. <laughs> Mark my words, that's gonna be a very crappy investment. You're better off buying Classic Luna Terra before it crashed. Mark Gonzalez sent in their 15 gallon rimless tank. Some Endlers, Live Bearers, some Peacock Rainbows. Got some Pygmy Cories down below. Don't think I didn't see that. This is actually an amazing scape. The sand substrate keeping it light with the little playful pebbles reminding me of a river system. It's one thing to have a few round pebbles. It's another to mix and match the sizes like this. And the green plants embedded perfectly. 4.75 out of five, keep it up. My hand in comparison to grandpa. Wow. That that is a huge snail. Or you have a really small hand. This is another picture of grandpa here. Really looking like a grandpa for real. Look at that eyeball. I think I learned just last year that bigger snails and conches actually have these really human looking eyeballs. It tripped me the F out. Found this on YouTube shorts. I know the YouTuber doesn't know anything about fish, so it's not his fault for posting it without knowing. But gosh darn. Blessed posts. Came home to this. I'm starting to think cats aren't the only ones with nine lives. Damn, that's a close call and a half unless it's staged which it probably is. The fish wanted to die so bad it pushed itself off. To be honest, if there wasn't an earthquake, how in the world did the vase fall like that? Huh? Even if a cat pushed it or a dog pushed it, you don't think they'd finish the job? Come on. Is this a crappy aquarium found on a buy nothing group on Facebook? The person was looking for plants. Yes, that is indeed a very crappy aquarium. I feel like those are red eared sliders and a common pleco. If they are red eared sliders, they need a basking area. This person had the right idea to like elevate a portion of the tank for the turtles to bask in, but for some reason they filled it past that point. So these turtles cannot actually come out of the water on their own accord to dry up. They're going to experience shell rot. This is your sign to give a fish a horrible life. Yes. This is your sign to buy a fighting fish. I didn't want to watch this, so I just screenshotted it. This is enough, okay? This is enough to tell me that I don't want to watch this. Okay, I watched just a little bit of it, and lo and behold, <laughs> I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. Oh. Fighting fish. Yeah, fighting for its life. <laughs> There's a reason why when I was growing up, fighting fish was the general name, but there's a reason why they change it into better because it's not very encouraged for them to fight it out to the death. All right, and what a place to end on. Welcome back to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this week's FTR. And before we leave, you know, we got to hit you with the Katua. What is your favorite day of the week? Mine is probably Monday because I'm such a go-getter. I just can't wait until the new week starts. Just kidding. Could you imagine if I was actually like that? Yeah. All right, no hate if that's you. <laughs> Stop drinking the hater raid and start drinking the babo tea. Hit me up if you know that reference. All right, ciao. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot. From Karasiformes to Parachirodon, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict like fanatic. I'm a bad.
status, no tabs, only dirt. My Corey gang so loyal, black tetra ghost skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.